Perfect. Also for, for our time. Um, uh, of course, uh, customary law is the, is the typical law of the medieval times uh, because uh, it's uh, not written law. But uh, you, you have demonstrated and you have spoken about uh, an, another very interesting problem, the, the, the fact that um, there is also a, a, cost, a customary law customs in interpretation of written law. And this is the, our great problem uh, in, in studying uh, the transformation of Roman law in, in something other during, during the, the, the centuries. And maybe this is also the problem of the, 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 the alaka, because uh, uh, we have seen in the, in the picture, uh, in the previous picture, uh, there is a, how can I say, a, a, a hard stone of all ancient law and something during the centuries continues uh, studying and uh, reconsidering something of old and written. So, um, the last one, Pavel Zivinsky. It's perfect. It's like Quite that. perfect. <laughs> Quite perfect. <laughs> From uh, Krakow yes. in Poland and Krakow, a great, great, University, University of great tradition also for us, uh, also for Roman law. And he has studied social history, history of canon law, history of tolerance in Poland, very interesting. And I see history of crusader states in Latin East. So yes, yes. I am a Byzantinist, so <laughs> it's fantastic for me. Um, the title is of Siedlung or transition of German law, le legal perspective on settlement according to German law in medieval Poland. Perfect. So, uh, thank you for your warm welcome and uh, the invitation. I am a little ashamed because uh, my humble speech isn't uh, good for uh, such elite audience because I'm only a student. So, and. Uh, my uh, speech um, will uh, show us uh, the very popular and general topic for every medievalist in Poland. Because the first thing when we uh, think about when we are thinking about the transitions in, in medieval times, there is transition of German law in Poland, because <clears throat> there were so many colonists in Poland from Germany, and they integrated their own. Uh, codexes uh, to our system, so it's natural. And um, it's very important thing for uh, all Europe because uh, <coughs> beyond any doubt, its, its role is definitely deserved as being one of the, one of the greatest phenomena which had built uh, whole Europe. Uh, it has the resemblance even, even now, uh, like younger Europe in uh, European Union, or uh, last year outbreak of war in Ukraine, because the Ukraine was a <coughs> periphery of the Ostzildung, of this uh, rural settlement or uh, <coughs> town settlement of Germans, or uh, it's that further evolutions. <coughs> Furthermore, uh, a long-standing historiography in Poland or Germany or any other states of Sla Slavs, uh, our concentration uh, ha has uh, concentrated on uh, the topic how was how important was the role of Germans. It was good to have this colonization or not, uh, how it was, uh, but not the legal perspective, not the transition of law. So I think that my uh, speech uh, could show us uh, this uh, this topic in this perspective uh, to present such general and uh, complicated matter, I, I, part, I divided my uh, uh, presentation to three major parts and uh, some subparts, as you can see. Um, every this part is very important to uh, understand that it's, uh, far, um, it's far more, uh, far wider a process than only uh, German or Poland 
uh, or their colonists. Uh, it has very long uh, history. As you can see on this picture, uh, it even started with Roman, uh, in the Roman Empire, because um, this long history uh, <coughs> uh, isn't well known, and it's true, it's very hard to uh, <coughs> settle the evolution, simple evolution line, uh, but the uh, many works of John Piskorski, uh, who presented comparative studies of uh, colonization protests in Middle Ages, uh, we can assume some uh, simple evolution line like this. So, uh, <coughs> probably the first snow legislations of the settlement process in Europe, uh, which had so strong impact on, on, the, uh, on the law and society, was uh, Roman concept of uh, limitanei, which means uh, soldiers from frontiers. Uh, they were uh, developed by Roman Empire in around third, third century uh, to guard its borders from barbaric rights. Uh, for their service, soldiers obta obtained uh, parcel of land uh, and during the fall of Western part of Roman Empire, the Libintanei institution was used to legalize immigration of the barbaric tribes, especially Franks or Goths. Um, uh, Byzantine, Byzantine Empire even further uh, developed uh, the, the Libintanei concept, creating military parcels known as Stratiotica Temata, uh, which was firstly personal obligations as an uh, official of state, and later, with the expansion of the Macedonian dynasty and their successors, like Nikephor Phokas or John Simiskes, uh, was used to provide necessary amount of soldiers, in the same way as, like, uh, Limitanei. Uh, probably in the same time, uh, an old farmer's law from the 7th century uh, was probably revi revised and reused to repopulate conquered land uh, by Nikephor Phokas or John Tsimiskes uh, for the empire. This so-called nomos georgikos um, served plausibly as a cornerstone to the further development of settlement law in Western Europe. Why? Because it organized uh, personally free farmers who have the property of their land parcels into cell and have self-organized communities uh, where all, participant, uh, or all participants were obliged to take responsibility for any one of them in financial matters. <coughs> this concept uh, of the civilian settlers organized into these communities, uh, which was their representation to the state authority and had uh, some elements of the self-government self was an ideal institution to incorporate to the feudal system and feudal society of Western Europe. Uh, their adaptation to local conditions and further evolution probably started in Flanders, uh, where international colonization started around beginning the 11th century. It was codified into the form of COPE agreement where settlers pay the monetary rent and uh, certainly tithe, so uh, so-called uh, tax for church. Uh, also, their community had a special representative with a prominent position and wealth who had organized settlement process, locator, in Polish, zasadzca. He also served as a judge in minor matters. Uh, every farmer had property of their land, uh, in form of land tenure, uh, and it was obliged to military service, which was only limited to the guarding their own lands. Uh, sadly, uh, we don't know when this contact started because most of them was verbally, verbally made, and and uh, it's hard to observe the beginnings of the COPE contract. Um, I have an idea that perhaps it was invented in the time of rule of Baldwin V, of uh, uh, House of uh, Flanders, or his son Robert I, uh, because they had very strong ties with the Byzantine Empire. 
uh, especially uh, Robert the First, who was serving uh, even as a mercenary under the emperor of Alexi Komnenos, um, during, and, and probably they, during their trips to Greece, uh, they can observe uh, only the, uh, the organization of these settlements and adapt this uh, to the flongs. Um, the COP contract was brought to the Germany uh, with the same settlers from France and uh, neighboring Netherlands uh, to, uh, <coughs> to settle uh, wastelands uh, in Germany uh, and was very widely used all around Germanic countries in the 12th century. Uh, they also gained probably the final form, so a special foundation charter uh, give it from, uh, given from landlord to the locator as a guarantee of the privileges of uh, the settlers. <coughs> a spoken conclusion uh, derived us to uh, the second part, subpart of uh, the first part of my speech. So it's the description of the locatio, locatio process. As you can see, it, it's an uh, uh, example of the uh, foundation chart uh, made by uh, Henry, Henry, the Bird, uh, Henry the Birded <coughs> um, in Polish and Slavic, uh, in, in, in Slavic status it was a special way uh, to do these contracts because uh, settlement according to German law uh, was strongly dependent otherwise in the other western countries on the Polish or Slavic rulers, especially, especially from the Piast and uh, Griffith dynasties. It was caused Slavic undevelopment for form of feudalism, uh, where prince had very strong position and rule over this, his, all his subjects, not ceding any rights uh, to the nobles or knights uh, so quickly as the Western Europe or France. <clears throat> On the first phase, uh, he invited the uh, locator, so uh, here is Menoldo, uh, <coughs> and, uh, to, and uh, wanted him to organize a settlement on his own lands, uh, giving them some, spo some uh, contract, pre uh, previously contract, and after that, locator went back to his homeland, probably Germany, uh, especially Saxons, Sachs, uh, in search of possible settlers who were eager uh, to voluntarily left their own land property and go east to uh, this prepared place. Uh, <coughs> after forming this uh, sufficient group, they go back uh, to uh, Poland uh, with their own farm tools and establish a new colony, a new settlement. And after that, it was, the whole process was confirmed with this uh, foundation charter like this. <clears throat> and <clears throat> it, uh, ha it contained uh, many privileges uh, who was usually uh, made uh, in, uh, as uh, a copy of uh, the um, um, ideas made in Germany. Like, oh, it's, suddenly, it's not, it's not, we, can, we cannot see, but the last <laughs> two, <laughs> last two lines, uh, there is, uh, there is a, the phrase that uh, <coughs> that this uh, concrete village was built as a German village in Salzburg, uh, in the same uh, <coughs> with the same rights and with the same organization. <coughs> uh, <coughs> de depend of the villages or uh, uh, towns. It depends uh, what uh, what wa was their ideal or uh, the <coughs> or the first. Uh, poli political structure used to organize the settlement, and probably in Poland, mo mo the more popular was uh, Lubeck uh, city or Magdeburg, <coughs> with uh, and of course there were some uh, local modifications of uh, this system. <coughs> uh, as you can see, even though uh, the state administration has a major uh, initiative. The whole process was dependent only of the locator walks and his uh, <coughs> and uh, his initiative to uh, build new settlement. Also, uh, because of that, it not generate 
many writing sources a part of this of this many foundation charts charters and uh, uh, initial some initial contracts with the Zasaktsa. Uh, moreover, in the 13th century, because of uh, <coughs> the, that princes lost mo much of their power and became uh, um, weaker, uh, poli uh, <coughs> politically uh, weaker, uh, some landlords uh, themselves uh, leading colonization process and uh, giving this uh, foundation charts. <coughs> uh, that's all uh, made historians from Poland and Germany to believe that sources of Ozelden process are not so reliable and typical as they should be, and they starting very long-standing discussion about the phenomenon at its scale. Uh, from the beginning of the modern f historiography, the settlement according to German law was object of interest for many historians, but that's probably the most important. The founder of Polish historiography, Joachim Lelewel, um, uh, wrote about those Zildung that it was worse than any sickness for our society and destroyed idyllic world of uh, primordial Slavs, uh, Slavs which hadn't known any serious sins before the Germans. Uh, many historians also emphasize, emphasize that uh, the settlers caused great social changes in Slavic society, creating full-grown form of the feudalism in Poland and destroyed our primordial, uh, primordial form of democracy. Certainly, uh, one of the greatest faults of the settlers was collaboration with the German countries in time of aggression. German historians like uh, Heinrich von Treitschke uh, was praising the colonists and especially uh, Teutonic Knights uh, for their courage to fight off a Slavic barbarism and expand German civilization. He also stated that Slavs are primordial uh, enemies for any Germanic peoples and uh, Ostzildung was the best way to destroy them once for all. It hadn't also strong influence on the German policy. Tragically, uh, for instance, medieval German settlers served as excuse, excuse for Nazi German aggression against Poland in 1939 as crusade against, up, quote, uh, apostles of barbarism who wish to bury the work of half millennium, uh, half a millennium culture, culture in the abyss of savage, savagery. <clears throat> a part of these journalistic statements, uh, which most of them was falsified, uh, historians from last two centuries described well the Ostzildung making few f fundamental statements. The German settlement was preceded by an internal settlement according to Polish law. German settlers wasn't the only one who used use te Teutonicum for their colonization, it was also a draft used by the Slavic people to enhance existing settlements before. Uh, the metal uh, was altered by the native population and used in the own settlements, <coughs> like, uh, for example, used Teutonicum from Magdeburg was used as a basis to create used Polonicum in Ukraine and Litu Lithuania. <coughs> After the description of the Ostzildung, we can analyze the most important innovations of the use in Teutonicum in Poland. Um, <clears throat> as uh, a evolution, evo evolutional form of voluntary made contract, the foundation charts include concrete privileges for every path, part of the agreement, creating new, few public institutions and offices which guaranteed their conditions. Rule, rulers so landlords, uh, were strongly interested to populate uh, wasteland for obviously economic reasons, even though equally important causes of the colonization were new agrarian techniques, crop rotation, for example, or political influence, uh, whose traditional, uh, uh, was gained by uh, traditionally loyal uh, settlements to their benefactor. Uh, also, Zasaczca, so locator, or vo void, void uh, in Germany, uh, was reward rewarded significantly <coughs> for his services. 
like in the COPE agreement, they obtained more land than the other settlers, uh, but also he was granted with, with a few additional rights, which was presented at the picture uh, before. It was the first picture of uh, Foundation Child of Henry the Birded. He could also build and he could also build an inn and mill, uh, and moreover, he was serving uh, as a judge in a smaller matter, uh, taking the price for his service. This strong posi position, um, the strong position, was even strengthened because of this military service as an equal or as a knight. The foundation chart usually got her this right into the her hereditary office called Sotis in village and void in the cities, Latin capitaneus. The settlement process was also very beneficial for simple settlers who was given uh, with the personal freedom guaranteed with the land tenure of their parcels, which were far, the b far bigger uh, than uh, their equivalent in Germany. Most of the foundation charges also stated tax-free period, Volnizna, Holung, uh, which customarily lasted for 40 years. Uh, they had also granted autonomy, of course, and can use also their own land, uh, own uh, law, use Teutonicum. As you can see, there's courts and uh, municipal council as, uh, uh, as uh, <coughs> his power uh, to self-organize the settlements. <coughs> there are few, uh, few very important innovations for... Yes. It's time to summarize. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> <clears throat> of uh, private law uh, trans translated by uh, Jus Teutonicum. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we must say that a settlement according to German law was one of the most important processes in Polish history, uh, which lastly rebuilt uh, Slavic states into a feudal monarchies. Their non-public character, basing in the initiative of the locators and landlords, created a unique situation where every city has his own form of rights which differed from other one. It caused, of, it caused also their weak position in the early modern period and made impossible building absolute monarchy in Poland which soci social and economic basis are always str a strong mu municipalities and because of that we have our Polish saying <laughs> like in this picture. Thank you for your attention.